Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going to be looking at Ippon of the Year by Angelo Pantano, this huge Kata Guruma, Neil Adams said, and I quote, who said Kata Guruma is dead. Ever since the leg grab ban in 2010, the question was how to recreate that huge effect of Kata Guruma where you are actually getting that big lift and dumping over the head the new kataguruma is swift it is effortless it is beautiful but it's lacking that power and just picturesque uh, lift that we all love so as you can see here it was more of a tewaza when done standing up and not so much like today like as a yoko sutemi or a side sacrificing technique to understand angelo's kataguruma we need to look at a couple of instructionals the first one being mark housinga with superstar judo he grabs outside of the sleeves goes down on his knees in a way that he can actually uh, push his hips up uh, to get a big lift i want you to take a look at the other hand the free hand that can actually play a crucial role as you can see he pins the sleeve to his shoulder but the other hand can actually push uh, with the forearm on the belt to like a lateral raise type of motion to actually get that dumping effect over the head let's see here he goes down to the side on his knees and shoots his buttocks upward and his hips while uh, wheeling over the shoulder he can actually use the free hand to dump him over his head as opposed to Fabio Basile's Kataguruma where he actually goes down sitting down on the floor hooking the leg opening the sleeve and the tip of the sleeve and wheeling him over his shoulder via a crocodile roll rather than getting a big dumping effect over the shoulders you can see he opens up the sleeve and uh, with on either the collar or outside of the sleeve like housing up housing us says if they happen to sprawl then you do the crocodile roll while basile uh, relies mostly on his crocodile roll and moving his opponent either sideways or backwards um, now let's take a look at antonio or i'm sorry angelo's kata guruma he actually he is on the ground as he is standing up he grips the sleeve let's go of the he grabs the wrist for a split second lets it go and like housing uh, the free hand did like the lateral raise type of motion which actually um, controlled the hips of his opponent pushing on the belt getting that dumping uh, effect as he is sacrificing himself backwards and more like a sideways let's see it here one more time the free hand can actually do a lateral raise as you are rolling your shoulder and wheeling them over your shoulder you can get that big effect like angelo did um, now today you have uh, avid researchers of kata guruma like dennis zenikov with the sleeve cuts down like a sword but he is remaining standing up because he spreads his legs and gets them together so he can get his hips up another one here is using the skirt um, personally i'm not a fan of this uh, skirt method because it means i have to wait till the skirts uh, pops off and i know what you're gonna say it's very common uh, the skirt pops off the belt so you can actually use this regularly however uh, with so many mate and stops during a judo match many put it back in uh, and also it's illegal to pull it off yourself um, and also it's not so much conducive to a uh, real life scenario um, so here you can see he gets it between the leg so he can actually punch up and get that dumping motion keep in mind you have two things that make your kataguruma great it is the first one being the dumping effect over the head where you lift your arm over your head and the second one is the standing up which will get that big lift another one is the belt grip which i am a big fan of and that can also get that huge wheeling motion over the shoulder via a dumping action you pull uh, the belt towards your shoulder which actually controls and locks their hips so they cannot sprawl they cannot do anything and the other one can be either on the outside of the sleeve or the lapel and you can actually dump them over and if they're tall you can stand up i'm also an avid researcher i go sideways 
um, opening up the sleeve, doing like a more of a Yoko Sutemi Waza, or I can just go to the back, hooking their leg, blocking them like Fabio Basile, opening up the sleeve. This was more of a uh, Yoko Otoshi, I get it, but there's no much more uh, like a shoulder contact and also trying to do a big standing uh, kata guruma as you can see here. Let's take a look at Angelo one more time, grabs the outside of the sleeve, pushes with his forearm against the belt, dumping him over as he is standing up and also sacrificing himself backwards. One more time, this is what gets that big effect and also one more thing to add is that this is the 60 kilogram category so lifting 60 kilograms is not incredibly challenging um so this is uh i think this ippon of the year and so many avid researchers of kataguruma shows one thing uh, you can either say uh judo you know you're so desperate without your leg grabs you're trying to do all these things or judo is truly evolving and in my opinion, judo is truly evolving in the sense of the research of techniques um, and developing them to because without that leg grab, you know, how strong is your hand really against a big muscular thigh? It's not truly uh, strong. However, if you position yourself correctly, pushing against the hip or controlling the hips with the belt grip or pushing against the belt, like the forearm push, you can actually get more out of it. Um, and also you can create that dumping effect. Personally, I'm not against leg grabs, but also it's nice to have all these research being done and all these other options. And also to know that Kataguruma is no longer just a teiwaza or a hand technique, but also it can be a yoko sutemiwaza or a side sacrificing technique uh, and also a teiwaza. Similar to Uchimata, uh, Neil Adams did this presentation where he said that uh, Uchimata with the level of competition and so many setups it's no longer just an Ashiwaza like in Nage no Kata it is now an Ashiwaza like your Ken Ken and also uh, a hip technique where people say it's Hanegoshi but you shoot your leg in between so it is also a Koshi Waza and also if you do a Makikomi like an Uchimata Makikomi it is now also a sacrificing technique so Uchimata is no longer strict strictly in the realm of the ashiwaza just like kataguruma you can s sacrifice yourself backwards with the big lift or sideways uh, gripping only the sleeve and also it can be a tewaza if you can get them by standing up and then dumping them over if you have anything else to add let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only I post there once a week. Your support would be greatly appreciated. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.